Hello everyone. Now I am solving properties of gradient. In previous class I had discussed about differenti vector differential operator and uh, definition of gradient and its uh, applications. So vector differential operator means it is defined as uh, del. Okay. So this means it is in the form of dou by dou x into i cap plus dou by dou y into j cap plus dou by dou z into k cap. So this is the vector differential operator and gradients, gradient means if we multiply it by a scalar quantity that is pi. Del pi gives dou pi by dou x into i cap dou pi by dou y into j cap plus dou pi by dou z into k cap. Then this condition is known as gradient. So let us draw some properties on this condition. So that is first one. If f and g are two scalar point function two scalar point functions then del of f plus or minus g equal to del into f plus or minus del into g so this is our first property let us solve this one given that del of f plus or minus g. This is our LHS part. So, now define del value. That is dou by dou x into i cap plus dou by dou y into j cap plus dou by dou z into k cap. So, here I am considering both plus or minus conditions for two functions f and g. So next, this particular term is multiply by x e y comma z. Ka. So this can be written as dou by dou x of f plus or minus g into i cap plus dou by dou y of f plus or minus g into j cap plus dou by dou z of f plus or minus g into k cap. Okay, now we have to write it in the form of dou by dou x of f plus or minus g. So this can be written as, how we can write this one? Multiply matrix, dou f by dou x plus or minus dou g by dou x into i cap plus dou f by dou y plus or minus dou g by dou y into j cap plus dou f by dou z plus or minus dou g by dou z into k cap. So this is our condition. Now separate f and g conditions. So that is in terms of i j k dou f by dou x plus sorry dou f by dou x into i cap plus dou f by dou y into j cap plus dou f by dou z into k cap plus dou g by dou x into i cap plus dou g by dou y into j cap plus dou g by dou z into k cap. So this is our required condition. Now separate this take common f and g from this condition then it gives dou by dou x into i cap plus or minus dou by dou y into j cap dou by dou z into k cap f plus sorry here I have to write only plus here I have to write plus or minus Okay, so next this gives dou by dou x into i cap plus dou by dou y into j cap plus dou by dou z into k cap into g. So now this is in the form of del f plus or minus this is in the form of del g. So this is the condition of del f plus or minus g. So this is our first property. Next, second property is if f and g are 
two scalar point functions then prove that del into f g equal to f into del g plus del f into g. Let us consider del f into g. So write the definition of del that is dou by dou x into i cap plus dou by dou y into j cap plus dou by dou z into k cap into f into g. So now multiply this to particular term that is dou by dou x f into g i cap plus dou by dou y f into g into j cap plus dou by dou z f into g into k cap. So next apply the properties of algebra of limits. This gives i cap as it is dou f by dou x into g plus dou g by dou x into f plus j cap into dou f by dou y into g plus f into dou g by dou y plus k cap into dou f by dou z into g plus f into dou g by dou z. Now separate the terms. So that gives dou g by dou x into i plus dou g by dou y into j plus dou g by dou z into k into f plus dou f by dou x into i plus dou f by dou y into j plus dou f by dou z into k into g. So this gives uh, dou by dou g by dou x, dou g by dou y, dou g by dou z can be written as del g into f plus del f into g. Or this can also be written as del f of g equal to f into g equal to f into del g plus g into del f. This is our second condition. Okay, next third property is if f and g are two scalar point function then prove that del into f divided by g equal to g into del f minus f into del g divided by g square. Let us solve this one. Take down solution. So this gives del gives into f divided by g equal to apply the del definition that is dou by dou x into i cap plus dou by dou y into j cap plus dou by dou z into k cap into f divided by g. So next multiply these two terms that is dou by dou x into f by g into i cap plus dou by dou y into f by g into j cap plus dou by dou z into f by g into k cap. So next apply the property. All of you know that in algebra of limits that gives g into dou f by dou x minus f into dou g by dou x divided by g square into i cap plus g into dou f by dou y minus f into dou g by dou y divided by g square into j cap plus g into dou f by dou z minus f into dou g by dou z divided by g square into k cap. So by applying algebra of limits we can write this one. So next take uh, g, yeah, uh, g terms one side and uh, f terms another side. So that gives g into dou f by dou x into i cap plus g into dou f by 
डू आई इंटू जे कैप प्लस जी इंटू डो एफ बाय डू जेड इंटू के कैप डिवाइडेड बाय जी स्क्वायर माइनस दिस गिव्स एफ इंटू डो जी बाय डो एक्स टू आई कैप प्लस एफ इंटू डो जी बाय डो आई इंटू जे कैप प्लस एफ इंटू डो जी बाय डो जेड इंटू के कैप डिवाइडेड बाय जी स्क्वायर सो दिस गिव्स जी इंटू नेक्स्ट एफ ना आउटसाइड से गिरी डो बाय डो एक्स इंटू आई कैप प्लस डो बाय डो वाई इंटू जे कैप प्लस डो बाय डो जेड इंटू के कैप इंटू एफ माइनस एफ इंटू डो बाय डो एक्स इंटू आई कैप प्लस डो बाय डो वाई इंटू जे कैप प्लस डो बाय डो जेड इंटू के कैप इंटू जी डिवाइडेड बाय जी स्क्वायर सो दिस गिव्स जी इंटू डेल एफ माइनस एफ इंटू डेल जी डिवाइडेड बाय जी स्क्वायर दिस इज अवर रिक्वायर्ड कंडीशन दैट इज डेल इंटू एफ बाय जी got it so these are the four properties here plus or minus include addition and subtraction both includes in one property total four properties are there and one constant property that becomes zero uh, any di differentiation of constant term becomes zero that's why del pi equal to zero because pi is constant okay so these are the three properties any one of this will be asked for Five months. So solve this properly, and uh, in next class I will discuss examples on gradient. Thank you.